Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three pumpkin spice flavored items from Favorite Day. Favorite Day is a Target brand. We have the gluten-free pumpkin spice cookie bites, the pumpkin spice crisp cookies. They have this pumpkin spice coated caramels. These were, let's see, the... Uh, gluten-free. <laughs> It's my writing. It's Kevin's writing. I write Think of cryptic. a doctor's writing. And and I'm, I write cryptically. And he's he's a doctor. Okay. He has his doctor. The gluten free one was three dollars and sixty nine cents. The uh, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> the caramels were four dollars, and this one was also three dollars and sixty nine. So three sixty nine, three the ones in the box three sixty nine. Yeah, and this one was four. Were four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I never connected that before. All doctors have bad handwriting. My handwriting was a little bad long before I got my life. Okay, so. I just lazy. I'm a lazy writer. Autumn brings a chance to share so many sweet delights. Oh, so grateful for treats by the plateful. There's joy in every bite. Mm -hmm. Gluten-free pumpkin spice cookie bites. Autumn treats. Six servings in the container, four cookies are 140 calories. These look like a little uh, wedding cookies, no? Oh gosh, that is strong. So they smell good though. Spice. It says, um, enjoy these, pair these with your favorite beverage like coffee, tea, or milk. Dipping is encouraged. Okay. Yeah, they're just like the wedding cookies mm -hmm. with the white powdered sugar on them. They could have called that pumpkin spice wedding cookie. They could have, um, except they covered them with pumpkin spice. I like them right at first. Mm -hmm. Then they get a very gritty texture. Oh, I was thinking pasty too. I'm getting gritty, 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 like sand. I'll tell you what. I think it's whatever they used to make them gluten free. That um, clove strong, is very, I mean, very, very strong. Like take your breath away. Um, that um, usually pumpkin spice is pretty balanced. The cinnamon, the nutmeg, the clove. Um, and this one, the clove mm -hmm. is off the charts. Yeah, it's very, very strong. So if you don't like that, it, it's probably going to be too much. Like, like now that I've finished with it, that's what I'm getting. Like when I breathe and it comes out my nose. It's like you're chewing clove gum. Yeah, it, the clove <laughs> flavor, it's coming out my nose. My, and that probably sounds horrible, but that's just no, the truth. It's very, very strong. You, take, you, you, can, you can smell it and taste it. Everybody that's what I thought you. But you know, some people like like clove gum and stuff. I love clove gum. But that's really, really But it's strong. a lot in that cookie. There's also, um, I've been into a crystal salt. Believe it or not. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. It was very salty, it's, like a one little crystal. If it was just like clove gum, it would be different. This is your clove mixed with your nutmeg and your cinnamon. That's true. You know, so it's just. It's like, a little much for it's me. It's a lot. It yeah. smelled really good, but I think it's a little too strong for me to want to enjoy a lot of. Now this will be different because these are pumpkin spice crisp cookies, but these are made with white chocolate chips and real butter. I guess they're not like all those fake butter cookies. <laughs> Seven servings in the container, five cookies, 30 grams is 150 calories. These smell more pumpkin. And this, uh, well, I'm thinking that white chocolate will help I don't cut know the... white chocolate's there, but mm -hmm. they, smell, they smell more pumpkin-like, don't they? Yeah. They're a crunchier cookie. Mm. They're called crisp cookies. They are. You know, after eating this, that seems so flat. Mm -hmm. And it it honestly has a funkiness to it that it, it it has an earthy flavor I don't like. Yeah, I wonder if that's the pumpkin. I don't know. Um, favorite day we have found, just like any store, any store you go to, you're gonna have things that they hit it out of the park. You're gonna have things that they miss. Yeah, like Trader Joe's is the same way. Trader Joe's the same way. Aldi's the same way. Uh, Walmart's the same way. Uh, we've had some awesome things from Walmart Bakery, but we've had some stinkers too. So, you know, it doesn't matter where you go, Kroger, uh, you're going to get some stinkers. And to me, uh, both of these would be a pass completely. I wish you Neither one. Because that is too strong on that clove. 
and it leaves a bitter that bitter plug flavor it's really strong this it just has a <coughs> funky earthiness to me that i do not care for this one the turn off for me is not only the spice but it's got a really gritty sandy texture which mm -hmm. I hate it got texture. pasty for me because it's so thick yeah they're got, very thick cookies. well wedding cookies kind of wedding tend to cookies get that are like anyway. that. yeah but i think whatever they used to make them gluten-free made them that grainy texture so mm -hmm. it's just it wasn't for me those just don't after these i guess these blew away my taste buds um those don't have a lot of flavor for i'm me. still getting an earthiness i, I get a little i see a, i see what you're talking about i get i get a little bit of that like Whatever seasoning they use or put the pumpkin in them is kind of earthy. The texture was fine. The, the, the texture was fine. Cookie. It was That's very fine. crunchy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. These are caramels. <laughs> pumpkin <laughs> spice coated caramels. So I would think they're caramels coated in and some And so milk. I do like this is resealable. Those are not. No. Those other ones are not. But you could put it back in the box. And Okay. So you're not going to cool. get as many. Yeah, they're very pretty. Uh, this are there's six servings, cool. two pieces, 34 grams is 140 calories. Pumpkin spice coated caramels. Oh, well. We don't mind eating after me, or you can buy your own. It's like the wall. White chocolate chunks in. Hmm. It's supposed to be pumpkin spice coated. Mm -hmm. That is more pumpkin. You don't like that? No. Um, I get a strong pumpkin flavor. The bad thing is you don't really taste the caramel. Though. I like those over the other two, but I still wouldn't buy them. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. It's a thick caramel. Oh, it's very thick. Which is good. I love it. Yeah, swear. Yeah, but it's getting thicker. <laughs> I like it. Um. I like the texture. I like that thicker caramel flavor. I can just talk while she's chewing. This would be the first time. Um, I, I, I like the texture of the thick caramel. I love a good caramel. Um, as I, I, now that I've eaten it all, the aftertaste is actually um, a decent pumpkin spice. It's, it's an okay pumpkin spice, but I got mostly pumpkin at first. I don't really taste much caramel. The flavor of the caramel really doesn't come through. I'm having a different experience. I think it tastes very artificial. It's pumpkin spice. Oh, really? I don't get that. It's pumpkin spice for me, but it's a very artificial pumpkin spice. And something that you say a lot during videos that I'm getting, and you're clearly not, I'm getting a burn in the back of my throat. Like a ginger burn or something like that? Like a it? ginger burn, but it's not ginger, but it's like a, that ginger burn in the back of my throat. And normally I'm not the one that gets that, Kevin is. So somewhere. we're just having a different experience. Yeah. Now, out of the three, I would get these, which you know, a lot because I really don't like them. You wouldn't actually get any of them. I wouldn't get any of them. I wouldn't buy any of these things. And you know, it has, uh, Target has just let me down this season. The seasonal stuff this year has not been that great. I do not think it's been that great at all. I, it, unless you're getting like a trail mix where you're getting... The popcorn getting, was okay. Where you're getting normal... The popcorn was good. Mm -hmm. There was that, that popcorn, what was it called? Toffee or butter toffee? Something or, like that. Now that was That good. was good and the bark the white chocolate bark with peanuts yeah but it was we, good but you didn't get any candy corn in it at all and no, what you got was hard as it was bread. hard it was really hard like it was stale and had been sitting so you're out all making your own make your own yeah really i'd say the popcorn it's was the best, best thing. thing because honestly that trail mix is stuff you can get year round yeah, they anything. all throw m&ms or, or reese's pieces or pretzels peanuts. or peanuts you know it's just your ordinary trail mix and they're just putting scarecrow on it you know or something like that uh so so really to me that's not seasonal no. just because they used fall colors reese's pieces um i just really think and i like target a lot but i just think for the pumpkin spice things i would just leave them yeah i really do like the caramels though. now I, I like the caramels the only two i'd recommend out of the whole batch is this all we've got left Yes, this is it. So we we finished. Well, I will. I no. I There's do, some other things to look for. Uh, yes, I, this is all I bought right now. Um, as of filming this video, I, I'm definitely planning on buying more things. But what I was gonna say is, out of everything we've tried, the only things I personally would buy is the popcorn and potentially these caramel. Some people like the caramel now quite a bit, but I love a good thick caramel. Uh, so that's for me hits that button. Okay, so w Kevin's uh, almost forgot. 
he's talking about packaged items like this. Yeah. Now, we did do a whole video of the, little of the bakery and... thing. Yeah, there was a couple things. Now, that's there. different. The bakery items are different. There was um, a couple. You'd have to watch the video. Yeah, the, uh, Kevin really loved the cupcakes. the cupcakes, and I really, I love the cupcakes too. But I also love the bites. The bites were a little dense um, for me. Those were really good. So, if you can find those, those are really good. Mm -hmm. uh, but this packaged stuff like this yeah. has not been that impressive. And these cookies, I wouldn't get either of them. Yeah, and I don't think a lot of kids would like this because it's so strong. Um, I just know as a kid, I probably would, I wouldn't have eaten it because uh, mm. it would have been too strong no, for me. I think our grandkids would eat it. They take one bite and go, mm -mm. ooh, I don't no, like that. No, I don't think they would have liked <laughs> it. So, so yeah, you just, you know your kids, you know yourself. But for me, these are a total pass. So look for the bakery items. <laughs> but I will have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.